Alright, hello, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of War in the West. We are in January, this is the end of January, and we will be covering the these four turns in the last one. Let us first start off in uh, Northern Europe. Uh, I did not upgrade pretty much anything, besides a couple of uh, these squads, to uh, Liberators. And operationally, uh, we have been bombing Hamburg pretty much uh, consistently with both the British and the Americans. And if we take a look, here you go. We also bombed this. Yeah, this a little bit. But main, mainly just Hamburg. Because, uh, I, and if I remember correctly, we had one turn of bad weather, so only three turns we actually flew. And we destroyed most of the industry and uh, the U-boats. We didn't hit the vehicles though. And we are continuing to bomb the manpower, which is at 50% right now. And just last turn, we have begun bombing Magdeburg and Brunswick. Also our uh, long-range fighter aircraft from the British are also here. And they will help us tremendously. If we take a look at the damage so far, 50% to the heavy industry here. But we are aiming actually for the synthetic refineries and the aircraft and the vehicles. Because uh, some Stugs is very nice to take out. Indeed. And secondly, in Brunswick, these, those aircraft factories, the vehicles and the heavy industry, they are all being uh, damaged. And after this, we're gonna concentrate on the uh, Leipzig cluster, this one, and afterwards Berlin. Maybe uh, also Rostock. Yeah, this one is also an important city to hit. But after this, uh, not that many cities actually left to uh, hit. Then we will be just doing rebombing. Besides this, the British, again, they have been, uh, of course, bombing Hamburg with the Lancasters, but we've also been bombing uh, at the same time as this cluster, Bailefield, there you go, nearly at 50% with the Halifaxes, not, uh, they haven't gotten too much success, unfortunately, and uh, we keep bombing Cologne a little bit. That's pretty much it in Northern Europe, although we did get reinforced and uh, we are beginning to get a bunch of divisions for the D-Day landings. We got the 3rd US Army with 3 cores and they are slowly being expanded. I'm not gonna send anything anymore to uh, uh, Africa and the Mediterranean Theater. We also got this, our first... Uh... Oh yeah, I transferred this, yeah. yeah. I also transferred uh, two actually, where is the other one, here. We have two amphibious cores because I don't think I will be doing any more landings in Italy. Now uh, back to Italy. We just got some reserves, these guys, I think I'm actually gonna send them to Europe. But we have con been continuing our push onwards into Italy. As, and as you can see, we have managed to link up our forces. Just last turn we captured Rome and established this front line. Our first Canadian army has expanded the front to about here and then ju we just pushed. And our British units have completely broken through on the left flank and they have pulled back. They were exactly over here last turn, right? And just... Uh, at the end of the turn, they pulled back to here. Let's see how well they can hold there, because uh, this is clear terrain. So, uh, the French are advancing from the east, the Americans very slowly in the center, and the British and the rest of the Americans and the Canadians in the west. Now, we also, some of our landings, other landings, ha have just begun exactly last turn. 
One of them is here. We have a red landed with two divisions. They have uh, instantly teleported. Uh, what is this? Two divisions, amazing. But uh, hopefully we can break through anyway. We shall see. And also, unfortunately, because they apparently misclicked something. Apparently, I set up an invasion right here. Yeah, this is what happens when you have such manual, you know, control over such things. And then uh, our other naval invasions will start in a couple of turns, I think. Where is it? This one, yeah. Unfortunately, you cannot see where the hell you are landing, so... This is very annoying, of course. But, uh, yeah, there you go. We can, I do dare say, we can continue with the turn. And oh yeah, in Romania. Uh, not a single hit this month, unfortunately. What is it? There you go. Not a single hit this month. They refuse to fly bad weather. What can I say? We also moved up our uh, in interdiction a little bit north, you know. So that we can intercept supply there. But there you go. Let's get... Let's get moving. Not enough. Uh, Germany shall crumble. Here are our mosquitoes. Doing a good job. Sweeping. Ah. The Germans are... Uh, not looking very, very well. In terms of aircraft. And more importantly pilots. But uh, it's not like... They are doing horribly either. 17%? Uh, okay. Oof. This one hurt. We hit the Panzer factory. That's decent. Pretty good. Oh, these are the Marauders that are going into Brunswick. They're doing a pretty good job, honestly. Oh, and finally our guys over Romania are coming. 7% damage to the oil. That's okay, I guess. And here is our uh, introduction. We keep trying to bomb these guys and they refuse to be destroyed. Okay. Oof. Thankfully, by the way, we also had our Mustangs upgraded just recently. Some of them. Just a single squad, actually. This one. And clearly, we really needed that escort. Thank God. Here we come over Magdeburg. 15% damage to the Tug factory. Tug lives matter, of course. Pokeballs, uh, the aircraft factory, damaged. Uh, 9% more damage. Very good. This is only the fourth day. Oh, and the vehicles, that's good to hit, in Brunswick. And we finally go over Dacia Romana. Resource? Ah, oh, okay. Some more damage over here. Oof. Quite high casualties, actually. And oh yeah, I forgot, yeah. We are actually... I <laughs> I stopped bombing manpower. Because uh, clearly it's not doing much and I'm just bomb bombing... Bombing the industry. With uh, these guys. Since we are bombing in the daytime, anyway. Thank God, we're finally hitting these orifices. Very nice. Not a ton of losses on either side, but there you go. Let's take a look at our reinforcements. Polish core. So these guys. You guys can go over here. And you can go over here. To the... 8th core? Sure. You go to the 15th, 
I really don't know what to do. Hopefully these uh, cavalry groups upgrade to divisions, but uh, you know. I'm just coping right now, because I do not know what else I can or should use them for. Yeah, also these parachutists are uh, a bit annoying in their uh, design. I don't really like regiment sized units. Also, do we have? We do not have anything anymore. Okay. Oh, okay. And like I said, I want these Poles to go to, actually, to Europe. Ah, it's a brigade, of course. Even more. Oof. Even more of a reason. Oh, come on now. We also moved the HQ. Let me also find some rails to upgrade. There you go. Do we have any more of these? Oh yeah, we do. There you go. We connected this port now. Very good. We also brought this army here. The first. Let's see. What do we need to do? Over here we have our forces. We need one more division actually. I cannot move them like this. Okay. So how about you go you guys go like this? Eh, <sighs> god damn it. Okay, you can go over there. Yeah, that's good. This is what I wanted. We cannot unload there, but uh, soon enough we shall be able to. And how about with these guys, so we attack this Panzer Division or maybe these guys. Now the Panzer Division looks easier to take. And they do retreat and let us attack once again. Good job, guys. Good job. Now we can even enter the port. Very good. This port is uh, actually repaired. Huh. Okay. So next time we should be able to unload those guys. Twenty-one prep. I really don't know what to do, what to do with these uh, divisions. These regiments even. <sighs> but right now I'm just having them as garrisons, but uh, I just don't know. But anyway, let us continue on. Let's start with the Frenchies. There you go. And then the Americans. Hey, we capture uh, whatever that is. Or was. We even have some paratroopers that are, uh, I guess, going to assist them. And you can go into this port, very good. This is a division. But what are you supposed to do? I forget. I forget why I brought you here. Hmm, I guess we can uh, yeah, move you toward your HQ. That's a good bet. 
And uh, no roads over here, unfortunately. There you go, these mon mountain passes are uh, quite annoying of course, but uh, what can you do? How about you deliberate attack? Yes, and we move in, and we move even further in. This is a full division, let's attack it. Very nice, 3 to 1. Eh, not a tremendous amount of casualties, honestly. I would have expected more, but okay. Here come these guys. Actually, how about we merge you over here? Yeah, how about you attack like this? Yes. You attack like this, or we attack together. Ooh, they are holding two and a half divisions. All right, you cross the river, you try to. There you go, good job boys. Oof. Okay, and let's move you here. There you go, just to block them uh, getting into our HQs. Ah, we can actually keep advancing. I don't have another... Uh, American division that I can put into this thing now. This is that is the full division. Sure, let's attack you. Because it is three to one. Very good. Ooh, 17 tanks destroyed. That's not good. But we do have a ton of tanks. So Omar Bradley is, is uh, right there. That's good. Oh, and we have outrun our HQs over here. I just noticed. Yeah, how about you go over there? We bring the British Army closer. And that is all very good. Take a look at this. Also, by the way, while we are here, how about we move... All of these guys to Na Napoli. That will be our HQ in the future, anyway. Congratulations. This is the Maltair command, and oh yeah. yeah. We still have some, uh, yeah. I told you I'm not a fan of uh, paratroopers, so uh, my uh, transport aircraft are pretty much not doing anything. But anyway, this is pretty much it. Oh yeah, actually these guys. We need to bring you to Europe. There you go, together with the Poles. Because a shitty armored brigade is not going to do anything in the mountains of Italy. But it will be very useful together with its brothers. And the invasion of uh, Germany, of course. How about we bring you here? Just so you know, we have some kind of garrison on Sardinia, on Corsica even. There you go.
and just for reference i will show the losses after this the germans are getting caught up in my uh, intercept setting who that that was a lot of losses for them well ah yeah my probably my sweeps you know let's see what they do in italy they have counterattacked me uh, once in italy but very very passive very passive perhaps uh, my actual interdiction is doing something you know who knows A lot of them do have poor morale, it seems. Eh, not all of them. Ooh. Take a look at this. But every division that they bring to this front is a division they do not have over here. And that allows us to push even harder, even further. So that's very good. Italy is uh, already practically ours. So here are the losses. 290,000. Wow. Well, Nearly equal pilot losses, but of course that's uh, severely in our favor. <laughs> but holy moly, the aircraft losses, they have suffered a lot more than us, nearly 2 to 1. Wow. And here is the end of the turn. Let me take a look just in case at what we received. Some support for the... At the HQs. But no actual units on the map. Chemical Mortar Battalion, what? Oh, and... Uh, ah, this is the first time I'm seeing this, actually. This button. Huh. What? Did we receive some new... Planes? Uh, it does not seem like it. Supposedly some new uh, stuff, but uh, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I just cannot read. Or whatever. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And see you next time. Next month even.